Lately, I've been putting out a lot of Zoom F6 videos, and it's because I have a long laundry list, and it's growing as the days go by, of things that I want to cover, and little things, and things that really could make a difference with your functionality of the Zoom F6, and possibly make your life a lot easier. Or possibly be useless, but hopefully it makes your life a lot easier. Welcome back to the Rebel Tech Channel, I'm Justin, and in this video we're going to be talking about your volume controls in the Zoom F6. More specifically, the left and right volume, and the line out volume. Now, of course, this is related to the right, left, and line levels that you see on the right side of your Zoom F6. And these are very important if you're using the line out or using those uh, left right signals. Without any further ado, let's get into the functionality and the adjustments of these volume signals. So first up, let's talk about your left right signal and how to adjust that. You're going to go to menu, record, left right track, and then you're on and off. Now off obviously disables the, everything and it just is completely off and there is no signal at all. Pretty easy to remember that one. Your first option is on, very standard. This enables the left right track, all selected tracks and the left right track will be recorded. So basically everything's being recorded and when you bring it up in your computer as a file and you open up those folders, you will see a left right option. Next up we have on with left right only. This enables the left right track, only the left right track will be recorded. Now here are some things that you may need to keep in mind. And really this is very niche, but I need to bring it up because you guys need to be informed. Now it says when you're using 192 kilohertz and 32 bit float, you cannot use this. You cannot use the left right recordings, which if you're recording in 192 kilohertz, I don't know why you would need this because you probably want that signal, the raw signal from your microphone. Another thing to keep in mind, the adjustment level on your main menu can be, can be adjusted with the knobs, the fader knobs. Now, of course, that fader knob is adjusting the level, but there is another way to adjust it, which we're going to get into right now and talk about how to adjust the line level as well. So both of these are in the same section. It's basically the same menu and same options. I'm just going to go through both of them. You're going to go to menu. You're going to go to record left, right track, left, right fader, and you adjust the decibels. Same thing with the line out volume. You go to menu, record left, right track, line out, and adjust your volume accordingly. And you could talk into the mic, you can uh, do a sound check or whatever it is and adjust it accordingly. But that is how you get there and that is how you adjust it and use it how you see fit. I can't tell you anymore, I can only tell you where it is. So after that, it's up to you what you do with it. And that's how you adjust the left right signals and the line out signals for your Zoom F6. Very easy, short video for you today. And it really is a nice thing to understand when you use this little device, really cool little device. Uh, it's not something that I necessarily use, but I know some people that use it and they are very happy with it. Uh, I know the line out does have some noise in it, but there's some workarounds that you can use to uh, help the workflow. So thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please hit the like button down below. It really helps this video. It really helps this channel and gets out to more people so they could be more informed about the Zoom F6, about audio devices, about things in general, about gear. And I really do think that this channel makes a difference with some of you guys and uh, I hope a lot of you guys because um, I'm really interested in teaching all of you and really interested in spreading the knowledge that I have as as little as it may be. I mean, I'm still spreading knowledge and trying to educate people as best I can. And I hope that I have a fun way of doing it and a uh, positive vibe about it. Speaking of positive vibes, leave comments down below. It'd be greatly appreciated. We could have a conversation about the Zoom F6 or anything like that. But I do ask that you be nice, be uh, cordial and you can be constructive, but just be nice. Speaking of being nice as well, a lot of being nice, a lot of nice things. 
The Discord is going to start up soon, mid to late October. I plan on having it out fully and you could join and there are rules, main one not being a dick, essentially. <laughs> so if you wanna join that and uh, converse with other people, talk, uh, it really is something that I wanna have that it runs itself. Like, of course I'll be there to help, but I want you guys to converse and uh, uh, have conversations and help each other out. I mean, that's the point of a community. We help each other out. And of course, the community, the vibe around here, if you're liking that, if you like what's going on here, please consider subscribing. We are very close to getting monetized. It would be awesome for me and all of us to get monetized by my birthday, which is October 25th and it would be greatly appreciated. One last thing, streams, turn on the notification bell and you know when I go live and you can ask me questions there and uh, we could hang out if you want, maybe one day where the community is high enough where more people show up. Maybe we'll play some games together and do like Jackbox, Jackbox games together. I don't know, anything. I'm open to a lot of things like that. So we'll see. If you have any suggestions for that, down in the comments. And that's all I got for you today. Until next time. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. The only, th the only thing that I want to do is I want to pet that lemur. And no, that's not a euphemism.